The devotion that I'm going to share with you today is actually from Lutheran Hour Ministries and uh, relates to a news article that was put out in 2010. But I'd like to share these words from Mark. They that are whole have no need of a physician, but they that are sick. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So what's a physician worth? People from a small German town of Let believe he is worth a whole lot. The community lost its physician because he retired in September, and since then the community has been trying to recruit a new doctor. At first there wasn't much Let had to offer anyone who was qualified, but that may have changed. You see, the people of Let keep upping the ante. For example, Nico Ringhoff, the local butcher, is willing to provide the new doctor with lunchtime sausage, and the hotel is offering free accommodations until he gets settled, and a local salon is offering free haircuts, and the baker is providing bread rolls. Between the baker and the butcher, he has all of his lunches taken care of, except maybe for flowers on the table. No, wait, the local florist is offering to provide flowers for all the doctor's surgeries. It seems people will do just about anything to get a physician to take care of their body. How sad it is that many folks don't have that same concern when it comes to their immortal souls. I guess that's the way it's always been. Those who were ill flocked to Jesus, begging him to restore bodily health. But scripture doesn't list the same numbers of people showing up to ask for forgiveness and restoration of their soul. Still, Jesus is pretty plain as why he came to earth. His job was to sacrifice his life for sinners. Jesus knew what we all too often have forgotten. Because of the ravages of sin, a flesh and blood body is only good for so long and the healings that are granted are only temporary. On the other hand, the spiritual healing that comes from our Savior's blood-bought forgiveness is everlasting. Even better, and almost as a bonus on Judgment Day, those who believe in Christ will be granted a glorified body, immune from all the illnesses and pain of this world. We pray. Dear Lord, today we thank you for all of your blessings, but especially for the blessing of doctors and nurses and healthcare workers. We ask you to use them as a blessing in our country and our world. Even more, Lord, we thank you for the great physician who heals not only our bodies, but heals our souls. Keep us continually aware of our need for the great physician. In his name we pray. Amen.